Christmas season, but with a badass Christmas movie review. Scott86 here, your holly jolly host with Let's Review Gremlins. Fuck yeah, check it out. Badass movie. They had action figures, they had posters, they had video games, they had all kinds of merchandise for this creepy little Christmas flick. I mean, it was the craziest thing I'd ever seen as a kid that was a Christmas movie. You know, it's uh, like, yeah, Die Hard was a pretty insane Christmas flick, but uh, it just, it wasn't like Gremlins. Gremlins was a different thing, you know, it was um, like creatures attacking people. It definitely was an 80s film, you know, so it had that 80s feel to it, you know. You know that here at Daymare, you know we love nostalgia. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's review Gremlins. Okay, Gremlins. So the movie starts off and we're with this guy in this weird little china shop. He's an inventor and he has all these bullshit inventions. But I'm not going to go into that shit. Fucking bathroom buddy. Fucking shit. Huh. He's in this shop basically by pure accident. He just kind of walked in here and it just so happens he's also looking for a gift for his son, Billy, for Christmas. So he stumbles upon this really cute little creature called a mogwai and he has to have it for his son. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is the ultimate gift. I have to get this little, like... Cat, rabbit, bear looking thing. The inventor guy tries to like negotiate a price for the Mogwai and the dude's just like basically telling him, you know, the thing's not for sale. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I don't care how much money you try to throw at me. I'm not selling the Mogwai, you know, end of story. The store owner's son, I guess, he's like, or his grandson or whatever, he's like, he gives a mogwai to the guy, you know, and he's like, you know, you got to make sure that you follow these three special rules. Number one, keep him out of sunlight. Sunlight will kill the fuck out of him. Like, no joke, if he goes into the sunlight, he's fucked. Don't ever let him near water. I mean, don't even let him fucking come in contact with the stuff. And number one, main motherfucking rule. Rule number three, do not, I repeat, do not let him eat after midnight. Do not feed him after midnight, no matter how much he might bitch, cry, complain, whatever the fuck the case is. Do not let him eat after midnight. I'm telling you, listen to me. I am fucking serious. Dead fucking serious. So the movie stars Billy. He's this happy-go-lucky bank teller slash just easygoing guy. After a rough day at work, to say the least, Billy returns home to get the Christmas gift that will change his motherfucking life forever. So he opens up this box and this little creature pops out. Billy basically just like cradles him in his arms, you know, and his dad tells him that he named him Gizmo. So I guess it's his name, Gizmo. So Billy's mom tries to take the standard Christmas photo, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the camera flashes and it basically, Gizmo freaks the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? He hates bright lights, like the little kid told him that you should keep him away from bright lights. So whenever the camera flashed, you know, it freaked the fuck out of him. 
And that's basically whenever Billy's dad just kind of lays down the rules on, you know, the three almighty rules that we've already covered. So young Corey Feldman accidentally spills some water all over Gizmo and shit goes to a fucking different level, okay? There's a bunch of them now. I mean, these fuckers are everywhere, you know? They came to wreck shit. There's six gremlins now, including Gizmo. What the fuck?